Hallelujah. Why most couples aren't mar aren't ready for marriage? Why most couples aren't ready for marriage? That's the question right here. I'd like to just expound briefly. Uh, after pastoring 28 years and going on 29 years and being in ministry 30 some years, many so many couples, I say, why do you want to get married? They'll say, well, I'm spending 962 in my apartment. She's spending 1100 in her apartment. We might as well consolidate. Wrong. Or I'm a Pisces. She's an Aries. No, it won't work. Or I just don't like the way my parents raised me. She said, I just don't like the way my parents broke up and this and that. I don't want that. So we want to get married. We're not going to just be living together. You know, or we, of course, there's a good reason to not want to fornicate. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 7, you know, unless you burn, you need to, you know, if you burn, you need to go on and get married. But the primary reason you want to get married, why, why most couples aren't ready for marriage, they don't love each other. That's the answer I'm looking for. It would be nice to just hear one couple say, because we love each other. And the love is the agape love, the God kind of love. If, if love never fails. If you coming together for financial purposes, you know, to have some financial security or stability, that'll fail you. Because in a heartbeat, someone can lose a job, stop working, business run out, you know, or business not thriving anymore. Or for companionship, one going after that and the other one wants to wants marriage, you know, all those reasons. Those are not the right reason. Or you think you're compatible. No, there's nothing wrong. You don't go by horoscopes and astrological signs. No, that's a heart problem. You can't say you're not compatible. Somebody's not willing to submit to the word of God. So again, this is BFABP. That's believers from a biblical perspective. Why most couples aren't ready for marriage. They don't love each other. They don't have the agape love. The agape love is an unconditional love. Man, regardless of what he looks like, acts like, talks like, and vice versa, but on, on her, they still love each other because they fell in love. It wasn't infatuation. They weren't just getting a bunch of thrills, you know, after just meeting somebody and then being fooled, thinking, thinking that you're in love. No, they really love one another with the God kind of love. It's unconditional. And then because he loves her like Christ loved the church, tell you nothing's going to break that one up. So again, in these days, especially... Folks got to know the Lord. They got to know the Lord. Because it's just not working anymore. Just doing it for survival purposes. Like in the old time, they had 9 or 10 or 15 kids. They had to stay together and work and everything else. But it's a new day today. You, you got to love one another. So why most couples aren't ready, they haven't come to that point yet. And a whole lot of them are getting saved. Not getting saved, but getting married and don't know the Holy One. Why get joined in holy matrimony and don't know the Holy One, the one who sanctified, who sanctioned it, the one who ordained it, the one who created it? You know, it's the institution that is most highly exalted over all other institutions. You got to know him. You got to know what does he think about it. He knows what works best. You got to love each other. So anyway, when a couple knows that they really love each other, and this is it, man. It's like, I love you. You love me. This for the rest of our life. We're going to do this thing to glorify God. Then it'll work. Hallelujah. Now, that's just a little tidbit. You can send comments, though, anyway, because that's a good conversation piece. But again, love never fails. You can't deny that. Love never fails. If you truly love each other, it never fails. Hallelujah. Click subscribe right now to this BFABP.com on YouTube. Check me out on Facebook. Like me there as well at BFABP for believers from a biblical perspective. Check out my website, AnthonyBlackmanMinistries.com. Peruse the bookstore, see the online, see the events, see all the videos that I have there available as well. God bless you. All my subscribers, I pray for you on a daily basis. I love you. I care for you. In Jesus' name, have the best day of your life.